everyone just gonna welcome you back to Mad Mo cooking and brewing I know it's been a little while I've been moving so that's why you haven't seen much from me some of you seen a video that I, when I was in the apartment I was gonna do some stuff hate to say it it's been totally hectic didn't expect to move so as you can see a different backdrop here's kind of my view these days So definitely a different view, um, but we're gonna do some more stuff. I upgraded my gas grill, it burned out. Some of you are like, why do you want another gas grill? You got a Traeger, you got all these other things. You had some smoky motors. I don't know, I really like gas grills. I think they're functional. I still think they have value. So what did I get? I upgraded to Weber Genesis, it's a 300 series. So I'm gonna show you that. I'm gonna talk about my initial impression about it. I did actually put it together the other day. Probably should have created a video about that but it's running 95 degrees in North Dakota right now so I was burning my hands probably not the best video but I kind of wanted to give people an overview of why I chose this grill I did look at a broil king but I, I, I really like the broil king but too many features that was like four burner with six burners I don't know I kind of like straight up simplistic I don't need all these bells and whistles so I did end up getting a Weber Genesis so let's take a look at it Give me one second here. So here is a Weber. I'm gonna switch this mic here too. Got a new camera equipment too, but here's you can see my Weber Genesis. I got the black model. Kind of like the looks of black. I always think that's classic Weber. So I picked up one of those. Overview of this grill. So let's start top to bottom. I think it's got a great heavy heavy lid to it I like that feature um, I'm gonna be curious how it does in the wind see how it acts temperature gauge I think is always a nice feature we'll see how accurate it is this one does have the side burner as I noted that's huge for me because so I do like to do cast iron cooking I do like the heavy grate so I think there's a value there I do like that everything ignites on its own igniters down below I'll show you that later but again, overall, I'm fairly impressed with the grill. Like I say, I did put it together myself. There's a couple things I didn't quite like that are basically plastic, kind of rivet type things. Uh, you can notice too, stainless steel gonna show a lot of fingerprints, but that's uh, a grill, right? So let's go top to bottom, as I said. Open back up the cover. What you're gonna see here is really nice, heavy stainless grates. I've heard mixed reviews on these because some guys and gals say they like the cast iron better. It's better sear quality. My argument about that, those of you that see my charbroil, seeing that I had a lodge plate, I'll probably do it in conjunction. I think this is about the same amount of footage as my uh, charbroil was maybe a little bigger. I think the warming rack's a nice feature here too. It sets up really easy. Two hands makes it simple. There we go. I mean, I've had two hands, very simple. Do it again, I like that it moves out of the way. It's super simple. Um, the grates, again, very heavy. If I do this with one hand. If I had two hands, very simple. So I'm gonna put the camera down here for a second, pull that grate out. Give me one second. Okay, so we got the grate removed now. As you can see, flavorizer bars down there. Thing I like these, super, super simple to remove. Basically pick them up and lift them out. Burners, also very simple. You see this notch here? It will basically come out of there. Takes a little finagling. But as you can see there, really simple. Thing you gotta be careful here. You got igniter cords back there. Those just seem to pop out. So again, very simple. Happy about that. Well, if we have to retrace burners, very easy. Take this other flavorizer bar out. Flavorizer bar, all stainless steel. Impressed with that. And again, more grates to protect everything. I was impressed with this feature. All right, make it a, sorry there. Um, we'll get this out. This is an impressive feature. If you can look down in there, I'm gonna get the camera in there, try to get this camera in here better so you can see that. But what you can see in there is the grease tray and 
it all goes down in those little metal grease trays which I think is super awesome you throw them away everything's down there and then this grease piece trough or bottom of the barrel if you want to call that when it rots out I'm going to show you that here in a second too let me put these guys back in make sure I do this right I got that back in. I'm not going to put the grate back because that's a pain with one hand. They are pretty heavy grates. I don't know the weight on them. I'm going to take you below the grill and go to the knobs here. Igniter's pretty sweet in my opinion. Battery operated, nice and recessed. Knobs, high quality. I think knobs fairly large. Uh, the sear station knob. There's three burners that are really tight there. See how that works with stakes, but it's supposed to be able to sear it, get really hot on that section. If I get down in the cabinet here, I think this is very nice. As you can see, that grease tray is right there. Everything will go down in there. This trough piece, I'm not going to do it with one hand, but it will come out with two hands. It slides right in there. So this gets dirty, it rots out, easy to clean. Um, very nice features. Uh, also grease tray protected from the wind. I like that on my Q grill. Unfortunately it blows out, but here we got a windbreak. And then nice storage below here again. Very nice cabinet I feel. In this side you have your igniter. Yeah, all the wires go in there. Your battery is hidden here. So again, I think overall, I mean you're definitely paying for this grill, but I think definitely good quality. Um, overall I'm pretty happy with what I see so far, but I want to do some cooks on this thing and we'll see what I really think and we'll do some interesting things on the grill itself. Oh, there we are. I'm going to get this switched around. As like I said, I did pick up a new camera too, so I hope you can see the quality difference. But as I work through this and get my stuff figured out how to best use the camera, but Glad to be back with you. I hope you'll follow me. I'm confident now that we will have more stuff going on. We'll do stuff more with gas grills. I still got the Oklahoma Joe, still the Weber Smoky Mountains. Still gonna do some camping stuff. That's always been difficult, but um, hopefully do more of that. And I hope you liked this video. I know it's kind of an overview and I apologize for the clumsiness of it, but like I say, new equipment and everything on these grills is pretty heavy. So it's pretty much two-handed job. The warming rack's really light, but one-handed job holding a camera is a little difficult. Not trying to make excuses, but what's in the future of Madmo cooking and brewing? Here's my thoughts on that one. I do have more wine coming up. We will be making more beer. Um, it's all coming back. It's just been with being in the apartment and everything else. It hasn't been a whole lot. So. I will be trying my first kettle sour here on the beer side of it coming up shortly. Probably in the next couple months, so stay tuned to the channel for that. I hope to give you some more and thoughts on this Genesis, if it was really worth the money, or if I should have just bought an old cheap charboil or something like that. I'm not taking away my charboil, got a lot of five great years out of it. I'm really hoping this Weber outperforms it, and money wise, it should, but we'll see. So I kind of want to give you some review and long-term thoughts on this Weber gas grill. And I also want to give you some thoughts on why I still think gas grills have value. I know those of you that are on the channel, you know, you've seen I got a Traeger, all these other things, a Weber Smoky Mona, Oklahoma Joe. I still think there's a lot of value in a gas grill, guys and gals. So we'll see. Hit that like button, subscribe. Glad to be back with you all and look forward to interacting you. Later.